Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today I'm gonna show you a script that I designed in an effort to make it extremely easy to ensure that all of your frames match each other. Just load your frames into the script, hit analyze, and within seconds, you'll know if everything matches. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's jump on in and learn about Astro Frame Match Analysis. Astro Frame Match Analysis is a script that I designed in order to make it extremely easy to ensure that all of your frames match each other. In fact, in my Flat Field Correction Issues video series, I express very strongly the importance of everything matching in order to prevent issues such as undercorrection and overcorrection. But it goes even farther than that. Your lights not matching your darks and your flats not matching your flat darks, it can create all kinds of issues that we just want to avoid. And to ensure that everything matches can be a tedious task. You have to go through all of your frames and go through fits header. Uh, you'll even have to go through statistics with your frames to make sure that everything is good to go. And it can be very tedious. So the purpose of Astro Frame Match Analysis is to streamline that and make it as easy as a couple of clicks. First, let's talk about how to get it. Um, if you don't already have my repository link downloaded, follow these steps. Um, the same repository link will get you all of my scripts. So if you already have it installed, you'll notice that under HLP, you have my three scripts. If not, that's okay. I have the uh, repository link in the description of this video here. All you're gonna do is copy the repository link, go to resources, updates, manage repositories. From here, you'll click add, paste the repository link here and click okay. Now, once you click OK, uh, you'll see the repository link in the Manage Update Repositories window. Once you see the repository link here, click OK. And then you'll go to Resources, Updates, and check for updates. Now, I don't have any repository updates available, so I'll get this window here. Um, what you'll see is a window that pops up that'll have all of your repositories that have updates available click select all, and then click OK. From there, you're gonna exit out of PixInsight, and you may or may not get a window that pops up in the center of your screen, asking you if you want to allow the application to make changes to your device. If you get that, click OK, and you'll see PixInsight update. Now, once PixInsight is done updating, it should automatically restart. If it doesn't, just go ahead and reopen PixInsight. Once you do, you'll go to script, and you'll see HLP. And from there, you'll see Astro Frame Match Analysis. Now, this is broken down into a couple of sections. Please select your frame type. It'll measure your darks versus your flat darks, your lights versus your darks, and your flats versus your flat darks. Off to the left, you'll see the Select File section. So if you're doing flats versus flat darks, you'll see select flats, and then you'll see select flat darks. The same goes for lights versus darks, and darks versus flat darks. Let's do a quick example of lights versus darks. We'll go ahead and select lights, and what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and choose a file here Let's select our lights for NGC 2264. We'll select all of them in the folder, click open, and we'll see how many lights were in that folder. And then we'll select darks. We'll do the same thing. We'll select all of our darks, and then simply click analyze frames. And here you'll see the script going to work and making sure that everything matches. Now, what it's gonna match is gain, offset, temperature, and exposure time. 
as long as this information is contained within your image data, you'll be able to pull it. Now, exposure time is going to be used for lights versus darks and uh, flats versus flat darks because those exposure time is important. If you use darks and flat darks, what it's going to do is measure the mean value. And I'll show you that here in just a moment. If everything matches, you'll get a green light. It'll say match and it'll give you the parameters that it measured and exactly what it measured. Now with temperature, I have a um, kind of a plus minus of half a degree Celsius just because the camera is not going to be uh, perfect. You'll have a little bit of fluctuation. So there's a little bit of forgiveness in the um, in the uh, tolerance that it uses. But we'll see that the um, lights and darks were at minus 10 degrees Celsius. And for exposure time, offset and gain, there's no tolerance because they have to match perfectly. So let's go ahead and let's demonstrate darks and flat darks here. Let's clear this out. Let's go and um, we already have our darks selected. So we'll install our darks and let's go ahead and grab our flat darks and click analyze. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to pull all of the information and make sure that everything matches. Here we see we selected 50 darks and 50 flat darks. Again, we're matched. We have our gain, our offset, which there's no tolerance. And then we have our temperature, which matched. And here we see our darks came out to minus 10 and our flat darks came out to minus 9.8. But with darks and flat darks, it measures mean brightness. And here we have our brightness that was measured between our darks and our flat darks. Now there is a tolerance of one and a half percent with mean brightness. You do want to make sure that they are as absolutely close as possible. Um, I put the tolerance in there just because, you know, it, rule number one, nothing is ever perfect. Um, if you're very close, I want it to reflect the match. But if you're getting away, like if this was 1997 to 1998, you're going to want to investigate. You know, there, there could be maybe some reflections within the OTA that are picking up a little bit of extra brightness. Or maybe you're shooting your darks for a dark library in a dark room. Whereas you're, you may be using Nina's Flat Wizard, which will shoot um, uh, flat darks as part of the process if you want it to, and you might be under a street light. And like me, my telescope is right by a street light, so I get a little bit of a difference, so I started shooting my flat darks in the same dark room that I shoot my darks. Just little things like that that you're, that you're gonna wanna check if you start getting a little bit um, away in uh, mean tolerance. But I only have a one and a half percent tolerance built in because anything after that's it's going to cause an issue. Um, now, what happens if you're not matching? So if you're not matching, it's going to tell you exactly what's not matching. Let's clear this out. Let's go to lights and darks and let's go ahead and choose our lights here. And for darks, just so we know we get a mismatch, let's choose our flat darks. And let's click analyze. Again, it's going to go ahead and uh, measure everything that that um, it's supposed to measure. But instead of giving you a bright green match, it's going to give you a mismatch and tell you exactly which parameter did not match. Because you know, let's face it, things happen, mistakes happen. You may have one set of frames in the wrong folder. Or maybe you accidentally did something with the wrong gain, wrong offset. Anything can happen, but the script will tell you exactly what's not matching so you can go back in and get it corrected. And if you're facing a flat field issue, such as under correction, and uh, you want to figure out why and just make sure that at least your flats to flat darks are matching, throw them in here and see what the script says. So I hope that you find this script useful and I hope you're enjoying the channel so far. And if you are enjoying the content and want to help support the channel, check out the Hidden Light Photography memberships. 
There's different levels with different perks, and your support helps me bring you more content. Also, do me a favor. That channel icon that popped up? Hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any useful videos. Drop a comment in the comment section. Do you have any questions? Do you think this script would be useful for you? And then, check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.